President Tsai Ing-wen has set off on a 10-day tour of Central American allies with high-profile stopovers in New York and Los Angeles. Tensions are expected to flare in New York City as pro-China groups gear up to protest the visit. But Taiwan's expat community is preparing to fight back to roll out the red carpet for the president. President Tsai Ing-wen led a group of officials in a ceremony at the National Revolutionary Martyr Shrine. She left the venue accompanied by National Security Council Secretary General Wellington Ku and Presidential Office Secretary General Lin Jialong. After three years with no trips abroad, the president boarded a plane at midday, kicking off a 10-day visit to Taiwan's Central American allies. Taiwan is resolutely committed to defending the values of freedom and democracy. We will continue being a force for good in the international community, feeding virtuous cycles and strengthening the resilience of global democracies. Taiwan is a key force in the global economy and will continue pursuing prosperity together with its allies. In the world, Taiwan is Taiwan. Making Taiwan go international and bringing the world to Taiwan is an important goal for our administration. External forces will not shake our determination to go global. We are collected and confident. We will not give in or provoke others. Tsai's trip includes a transit in New York. Last time she was in New York in 2019, the China Council for the Promotion of Peaceful National Reunification organized protests in the city. This time around, the organization held a press conference in Chinatown to decry Chai's visit. Tsai Ing-wen sneaks into the U.S., destroying the development of cross-strait peace. We resolutely oppose any form of Taiwan independence. I think they are trying to make use of this opportunity, as nobody from Taiwan has come in the past few years due to COVID, so it's a chance for them to act. The U.S. is paying a lot of attention to this visit by President Tsai Ing-wen. This was originally just a matter for the Manhattan precinct, but now even police from the 109th precinct from Flushing have been contacted. I asked them, and they said that their headquarters were watching the situation closely. The New York Police Department will be on guard for potential scuffles. The Overseas Community Affairs Council also has an ace up its sleeve. Some people will bring megaphones, so if they bump into large groups of protesters making a lot of noise, they will have a way to fight back. Overseas compatriots from many cities are really looking forward to the visit. There will be a bus coming up from Washington, D.C., and many people will be driving six to seven hours from Pittsburgh expressly to take part in the banquet. With Tsai on the way to the U.S., preparations from both supporters and detractors are in full swing.